Hello, I hope you're keeping safe and well at home. Today we're going to be doubling two digit numbers. Now, before we start, you need to make sure you're really confident in your two times table. So if you're not too sure, make sure you spend some time now pausing the video and practicing them right this second. Okay. Now, when we do doubles, we need to double diamond. And the very first step we need to do is partition. So we need to practice our partitioning skills. Partition is another word for breaking apart into different values. So, we're going to do some practice today, together first. Let's see, I'm going to think of a number 43. And I need to partition them into two separate numbers. I'm going to partition them into ones and tens. Which one of these is our ones number? Is it the four in our ones number or the three our ones number? It's the number three. So what's this one? What's the number four? That is worth tens. So in this number there are four tens and three ones. Four tens and three ones. Three, four, and three ones. One, two, three. Okay. So what is each one of these worth? One, two, three, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. So our number has been partitioned into forty-three. Okay. Let's try another one together. We're going to do the number twenty-five now. Can you remember which one is the ones column? Is it the two or the five? It is the five is in the ones column. So what's the two in? It's in the tens column. Now let's partition. We have got two tens. So we've got one ten, two tens. And we have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So what's the value of each of them? One, two, three, four, five. Remember these are sticks of ten, so ten, twenty. Twenty and five makes twenty-five. Well done if you're really confident with those. I'm now going to give you some questions for you to try and partition all on your own at home. I'm going to give you four questions. Let's see if you can partition the numbers on your own. Ready? So number one, 74. Number two, 56. Number three, 81. And number four, 99. So you've got four questions. Pause the video now and have a try at partitioning those numbers on your own. Okay, so you should have had a try at partitioning these. Let's see if you've got the answers correct. 74 partitions into 70 and 4. 56 partitions into 50 and 6. 81 partitions into 80 and 1. 99 partitions into 90 and 9. Give yourself a little tap on, tap on the back if you've got those correct. Okay. Now, we're getting really good at partitioning. We now need to move on to the next step of our double diamonds. So, we've got our 24. We're going to partition it again. Because remember, that is our very first step. 24 partitions into 20 and 4. Now what we're going to do is, before, um, we're not going to stop there, we're going to move on to the next step which is double it. So we're going to move the next step down. What is double 4? Four? 4 and 4 is 8. 
So we've doubled 4 to 8. Let's do 20. But I don't have 20 fingers. But I know that I can use 20 is 2 tens. So what's double? 2. 2 and 2. 4. So 2 tens doubled equals 4 tens. Once I've got this, all I need to do is bring it back together. And we have now just completed our double diamonds. Well done. Okay, we're going to try one more together. We're going to do the number 30 this time. Can you remember the first step we need to do? It's partitioning it. Well done. Let's see. 30. 30. Three tens. There's nothing here. Oh. Okay, we've got to keep track of that. Make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. Let's see. Now we have to double it. Double 30. What is double 3? 3 and 3. 6. So we're going to have 6 tens because we had 3 tens. Double 0. Hmm, let's have a little think. 0 and 0. It's still 0. So we're not going to change this number at all because there's nothing there to double. Now we're going to bring it back together. 60 and nothing. 60 add nothing. It's still going to be 60. So double 30 is 60. Okay, well done if you remember that or got the answer right. Okay, I'm now going to give you 10 questions for you to try and do at home. Number one, 42. Number two, 13. Number three is going to be 33. Number four is going to be 21. Number five is going to be 14. Number six is going to be 34. Number seven is going to be 11. Number eight is going to be 32. Number 9 is going to be 43 and number 10 is going to be 44. Okay, so you now have 10 questions. Pause the video and see if you are able to um, double these numbers. Okay, so now you've had a chance to answer these questions, let's see what the answer is. Double 42. Hmm, 42. We're going to partition it, so it's 40 and 2, double them, it's 80 and 4, bring it back together, is 84. So your answer for this doubled is 84. Let's try 13. 13 partitioned is 10 and 3. We're going to double the 10, which is 20, double the 3, oops which is 6, and then bring it back together, which is 26. So the answer for double 13 is 26. Let's try number 33. Again, partitioned into 30 and 3. We're going to double, and we're going to get 60 and 6. Bring it back together, and we have 66. 21 now. Partitioned is 20 and 1. Doubled is 40 and 2. Bring back together is 42. So the answer here is 42. Next one, 14. Partitioned 10 and 4. Doubled is 20 and 8. Put it back together. 28. 34 now. Partitioned. 30 and 4. Doubled is 60 and 8. Back together is 68. 
Oh, we've only got a few more now. 11 partitioned is 10 and 1. Doubled is 20 and 2. Bring it back together is 22. 32 now. Partitioned is 30 and 2. Doubled is 60 and 4. Bring it back together is 64. The last two questions. 43 partitioned is 40 and 3. Doubled is 80 and 6. Bring it back together, 86. And the very last question, 44. 44 partitioned is 40 and 4. Doubling it is 80 and 8. Bring it back together is 88. There we go. So you should be able to now check to see if you got your 10 questions correct. Fantastic work if you did. If not, you might just need a little bit more practice at home. You could ask your mum, your dad, grandma, grandpa, anyone in your family, they can give you a number and see if you can double it. Now, if you are confident in doubling these types of numbers, we're going to move in on to numbers that cross over 10. So it's a little bit more tricky. Okay, let's try this one. Now we're going to do the exact same method, but one number is going to go bigger than 10. So we need to make sure we're being very careful. We're still going to partition. 25 becomes 20 and 5. We are still going to double. So double 20, 2 tens and 2 tens, 4 tens, which is 40, 5 and 5, 5 and 5, 10. Now before, we just put the numbers back together. But we've got a tens number over here. So we need to make sure we're adding them. So 40 add 10, 4 tens add 1 tens. How many tens is that? It's 5 tens. So double 25 is 50. Okay, you've got to be very careful making sure you add those numbers. Don't just put them back together. Let's try another example. 16 again. We follow the exact same method. Partition is 10 and 6. We're going to double. Double 10 is 20. Double 6 is 12. Well done if you've got that. We need to put it back together by adding. 20 add 12. Hmm. 20 add 10, I know is 30. And then I've got a 2. 30. Two. So you've got to be very careful when you double to add these ones back together afterwards. Okay. These are going to be some challenge questions now. You're going to have six of them. Again, I'm going to write them on the board. You can pause the video and have a little try at doing a double diamond, adding the numbers together before when you put them together. Number one is 15. Number two is 26. Number three is 37. Number four is 48. Number five is 59. And number six is 67. They do get a lot harder when you move down to here. Make sure you're checking your values of your tens and your values of your ones as you go. Pause the video now to have a try. Okay, so you should have had a try now. We're going to find out if you've managed to get these tricky challenge questions correct. 15 partitioned is 10 and 5. Doubled is 20 and 10. Oh, remember what we do? We add them together. 20 add 10 is 30. So double 15 is 30. 26 now. Partitioned is 20 and 6. Doubled is 40 and 12. Remember we add them together. 40 add 12 or 40 add 10 is 50 
and the extra 2 is 52. So double 26 is 52. Now we're going to double 37. Partition. So we're going to have 30 and 7. Double it. Double 30 is 60. Double 7 is 14. Add them back together. 60 and 10 is 70 with the 4. So double 37 is 74. 48 now. We're going to double it. Partition it first. 40 and 8. Double it. Becomes 80 and 16. Add them back together. 80 plus 10 is 90. And the 6. 96. Now we're on our tricky questions. 59. Partition into 50 and 9. Double them. 50. Remember the 5 and the 5 is 10. So we've got 10 and 10s. 100. Double 50 is 100. Double 9 is 18. Add them back together. Now you've got to think about your place value with this. We're going to have 100. We've got no 10s. 1 10 there. And 18. 118. Remember, that is a 100. It is not a 10. So you've got to don't add the 1 and the 1 together. But well done if you've managed to get that one. That was very tricky. And our last question. 67. Let's partition. We've got 60 and we have a 7. We're going to double. Double 60. Well, I know double 6 is 12. So double 60 is 120. Double 7 is 14. Oh, this one's really tricky. Put it back together by adding them. 100. There's no hundreds there. I've got 20 here and a 10. What is 20 and 10? It's 30. And then 4. We've got the 4 left over. So double 67 is 134. Amazing work if you've managed to answer those questions. Those two are extremely tricky. Okay? But like I said before, now you can go around and you can double nearly any number. Thank you for working so hard today. I hope you enjoyed our video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.